Welcome all to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel and today we are going to learn how to knit this beautiful stitch that I'm going to use later on for, for the hat. Uh, this stitch can be used as well for sweaters, uh, for scarves, uh, pillow covers, baby blankets and even uh, knit headbands. For this uh, example I cast on uh, 30 stitches or any other number that is divisible by 4 plus 2 extra stitches. And for this example I was using Debbie Bliss yarn and 4 millimeters uh, knitting needles. So if you want to learn how to make this nice and easy stitch uh, please follow me i will be happy to show you slip the next stitch it's it's a salvage stitch you are, you are always going to slip the first stitch the very first stitch then knit three and slip the next stitch with a yarn in back and repeat till the end of row knit 3, slip the next stitch with the yarn in back, knit 3, slip the next stitch with the yarn in back and like this go on till the last stitch, the last stitch will be as well as salvage stitch and we are going to purl the last stitch. We always slip the first stitch and purl the last stitch. Slip and the last purl. Turn. Slip the first stitch and slip the next stitch with a yarn in front. Purl three. One, two, three, and repeat again. Slip the stitch, next stitch with the yarn in front, purl three. Slip with the yarn in front and purl three. Slip with the yarn in front and purl three. Knit until the last stitch and purl the very last stitch. Let's start the row number three slip the first stitch and then purl one knit one purl one and you knit the that slip stitch and repeat purl one knit one purl one and then you knit that slip stitch purl one knit one purl one and then you knit slip stitch Go on to the last stitch and purl the very last stitch. Turn, slip the first stitch and then purl all other stitches till the end of row. Go 
just purl all stitches. Turn. So we've done the first part. The second part, four more rows, slip first stitch, knit one, slip next stitch with a yarn in back, knit two, and repeat. Knit one, slip next stitch with a yarn in back, knit two. Knit one, slip the next stitch, knit two. Like this, go on till the end of row. And then knit two and purl. Turn. Slip first stitch, purl two, slip next stitch with a yarn in front, purl one, and repeat, purl two, slip next stitch with a yarn in front, purl one, and repeat again, purl two, slip next stitch with a yarn in front, purl one. Purl one and purl the very last stitch. This is a row number seven. And we are going to slip the first stitch, purl, purl one, knit one. Purl one, knit one. You always need that slip stitch as in previous part. Purl one, knit that slip stitch, purl one, knit one. Roll the last stitch and the last row, row number eight. Slip the first stitch and purl all other stitches till the, till the end of row. Purl, purl, purl. And that's how it looks. And after this, you are going to repeat from the first row uh, when you you did knit three, slip next stitch with a yarn in back, and repeat all that eight rows. 
So if you like this stitch, stay tuned for the coming head pattern and I will see you then there. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good day. Bye.